Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring here on the Altus Plateau, just south. Yeah, just south, okay. I had to double check my directions of where Millicent is. Last time, we gave her a prosthetic arm. I was so excited to be able to find one of those in the Shaded Castle, where we will be returning to today, and uh, realizing that it is, in fact, a right arm, and that uh, she's missing her right arm. So, you know, true Sekiro, one arm wolf style, we gave it to her, and she was thrilled, and said maybe she could even wield a sword and help us. So I'm assuming that in an upcoming boss fight, we'll be able to summon her as an NPC companion. But before we head back to the Shaded Castle, here are my stats, level 78, if you can believe it. Uh, one thing of note is that I have been somewhat complaining uh, that I have so many spell slots and all of my spells are simply one slot apiece, but I have been assured that many of the big spells coming up are going to be two, even three slots each, so it is not going to be a bad idea to have all these at my disposal. We're going to be heading back into the Shaded Castle right now and see if we can wrap this up today and then I think we're going to leave the Altus Plateau. Several of you when I mentioned coming here um, well this is about 20 episodes ago since I am so far ahead in recording you've said that if I continue on I could break a lot of quest lines and that I should truly be going to Kaled and trying to follow Ronnie's quest and that's what we're going to be doing after this as much as I don't want to. I am loving the Altus Plateau. It is bright, it is colorful, I won't say cheerful but it is almost as cheerful as an environment can get in a Souls game like this. So, back to the Shaded Castle Inner Gate. We need to go get our runes that we dropped. I think I had, what, 25, 26,000 down there. Uh, and we do have a bit, of a bit of a fight on our hands, but that's okay. So, once again, I'm going to do exactly what I did last time. You know, probably take just a little bit of chip damage, but I just want to get these dogs' attention. So, we'll climb all the way up and then turn around. And head on down here. Let's see if I get low enough. Maybe it'll just go right over my head. Let's see. Come on. Hey, look at that. No damage. Excellent. Excellent. Now, I wonder... Can I hit you? I don't think my sword's long enough. It's actually a pretty thick wall there. So you come on out. You come on out. I don't need the caster coming with you. Back up. Watch it. Okay, there we go. I was actually trying to do a step back attack. Okay, good. Now, we learned that we cannot get the backstab on this guy, but what I think we can do is, let's see, what do we want to cast? Maybe just Comet? There we go, one hit. Yeah, watch that bolt. Those bolts hurt. There we go, finish you off. Another caster over here. Blue. Please don't take any unnecessary damage. Thank you much. I'm wondering if I should try to kill this dog with this. Let's see. Oh, gosh, no. Nope. No, I shouldn't. Okay, that works, though. We got lucky. We got lucky. Completely not worth it, though. All right. Uh, hmm. I'm kind of thinking maybe I can hide from him, actually, or her. I'm not actually entirely sure. I do have invisibility on. I could cast that. Unseen form, rather. Do you come all the way down here? Oh, gosh, where do you stop? If you keep going, I'm in trouble. Oh, you're still going. I'm in trouble. Nothing to see here? Oh, my gosh, really? Can I get a backstab on you? Because that would be cool. I can't. Wow, a lot of damage even. Okay, now just wait a second. Fully charge a comet. Easy. Easy. Easy life is easy. Right. What do we have coming up? A lot of stuff I don't trust, that's for sure. Okay, that's just the courtyard that have the revenant in it. That is the place that has certain death. A lot of ivy-covered statues here. Just kind of looking. Are you pointing at anything? Kind of a weird point down and a little... I don't know. Maybe you're trying to say the pasta was really delicious? 
You're thanking someone for the pasta. Okay. A lot of pasta eaters here. That is my takeaway. Yeah, I see the shiny, but I also see, look at that, look at that sword. Okay, nothing to the left. I'm taking this castle a lot more secretive, and it's kind of fun. Okay, I should, this is just a standard servant. But honestly, what, what, no, 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 nah. These guys are so perceptive. Whoa. Hell, oof. You're a real pain. You know it would be kind of cool, huh? Sleepy time. That would be kind of cool. One. Two? Three. Oh, that's so cool. You, whoa. Okay. So apparently some not only have a higher resistance to the sleep buildup, but they are also resistant to sleep itself. That, that's not cool. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Just get that off, back up, not bad. And again. Okay, now we just need something cheap, which Night Comet will do. So I think that is a perfumer, which maybe that's why they are resistant to sleep, which, you know, okay, fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you seeing, you know what? I think I want to get some FP. You know, if I want to use this, I think upgrading it is obviously going to be the name of the game. Because that's what, what am I even getting back? I have 55, oh, it's four, four FP per kill. Oh, gold uh, fireflies, that's good. That's not, I mean, four per kill, it's not even per swing. It is for actual kill. All right. I dig all the statues here. It seems uh, a little busy. Now, where are you going to head? In here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm a statue. Are you coming in here? No, you didn't. Where'd you go? Oh, 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 are you coming in now? The problem is if they're not alone, I'm in a lot of trouble here. Oh, dog, 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 dog. Time to go, time to go, time to go. Yep. Why are dogs so terrifying? It doesn't matter, they just are. Oh, okay, just go ahead and break down the walls. Very progressive of you. Okay. Oh, he's stuck. Um, what do? Maybe acid? Maybe we try some acid up there? I don't know if I can actually spray it up like that. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Get some comic go. Oh, gosh, stand up. Oh, okay. Dealt with you. Why are the dogs so terrifying? Okay. Let's try it. Is that... Oh, is acid just gonna... No, because there's no durability, so that doesn't make sense. I mean, what is that doing? What is that doing besides absolutely nothing? All right, do I have any more firebombs? Those are just, I, I don't know. I don't know what acid does. Not what I, oh, wait a minute. We have some fun things here. Like this. Okay. Uh. Terrible. Just, just awful. Uh, wait, do you have, do you have acid on you? Like, what is that, what is that supposedly doing? I mean, you're poisoned, so there's that, I guess. 
I don't know what I don't know what is happening happening up there. I just don't want to waste a whole lot of well anything really. Serpent arrows are, are poison build up. Um, okay, you know what? We we got coop. Okay, they're just leaving. They're just leaving now. Yeah, just stay there. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa, whoa, no. There we go. Oh, okay. Is the other one still poisoned? <laughs> he is. Stupid dog. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. I'm just so afraid of them. You know what I think I'm going to do? One of these. There we go. Easy, easy. There's another one. Of course you know where I am. You're a dog. You can smell me. Me? Maybe not, though. That'd be cool if you couldn't. Hey, hey. All right. Yeah. See? I don't know why everyone's so worried about me. I'm worried about me. Okay. <laughs> Where can we go? Oh, gosh. Oh, that's heading up. As lifts often do. Either that or down, I've found. That's typically the way it goes. Now, what is this light beckoning me towards? It's definitely calling your attention. Hey, okay. Now that's nice. That's nice. So we have a shortcut right there to there to here. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. So, of course, before we go up, what is over the courtyard in here? No enemies, just a free shiny. Hey, all right, level five. That is going to be some nice upgrading. Oh, geez. I think the game's telling me to go level, or at least go spend some echo, or some some echoes, some runes. Something's about to happen, and it is a boss. Great, and that's not a free run either. Everything inside of me is saying go, spend the runes, but I'm not gonna listen. Okay, um. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll leave lightning grease on. I don't know what I'm about to fight. I could craft. I could craft. In fact, let's do that. We can make some more of these. I will, because I love these. Um, do we want to make any more exalted flesh? We definitely should, I think. Right? And this could be, uh, you know, whatever it is, could be a complete pushover. Or it could be very, very dangerous. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to treat it like it's very dangerous. I'm going to put on exalted flesh. I'm going to put on a pickled turtleneck. And we're going to do... Let's do lightning grease. Why not? We haven't really... Well, let's do... Can I make lightning grease yet? I don't remember if I can. We... We can. Actually, we, we can make a lot. We can make more of these. Okay. Let's make eight more fire grease, and let's go ahead and use that. We can also make a lot, or we already have lots of magic grease. So let's let's treat this like it's a dangerous one. It, it very well could be for as, as much as we know. Uh, I'm not going to try and summon. Let's do... What do we want to try? We'll just try glintstone stars to start. Here we go. Let's go nuts. And in we go. And what do we fight? Elmer the Briar. Oh, oh, oh! What? What? No. Uh uh. I'm gonna take a pass at that. What? Okay, so I just use a lot of consumables for a guy who can, you know, kill me by force throwing his sword. Ooh, where's the stake? Oh, if the stake is up there, that would just be phenomenal. Or it's somewhere a lot further away, and I actually have to... Oh, no, it... Oh, beautiful. All right, I'm not going to waste any consumables. I want to get in there, get my runes, and then just try and fight them as is. We're just going to... We're going to try that. 
Let's just try to get up to him. <laughs> Don't try to get up to him. That's, that's nuts. Oh <laughs> no. Can you get a backstab on him? Like his back is turned to you. <laughs> All right, I was gonna try to do this without summons. I think I'm gonna call in a summon. Maybe Oleg, he's nice and aggressive. Like this guy. But let's let's try again. Let's let's not use any consumables. Let's just get in there nice and quietly. Did he turn around? He turned around. Okay, I need to be able to see what he can do. Just move with the speed of light. Well, not the speed of light. Let's do the sound at the very least. Wow. It can't. Yes, it can. It can clear the room. It can pretty much clear the room. Is that like the blade or the sort of... What is it? A Aocade? I'll have to look at it here in a second. The one that I got from the... The cave, I think it was the Gale Tunnel. In Kalid we took. That seems similar in at least the skill. Not the Sword of Night and Flame. Regalia. Regalia of Aokade. Infuse the sword with energy, then fling it forward in a corkscrew. Sword continuously deals damage while violently spinning. I mean, it seems similar. It seems similar. Let's... Oh, see, the thing is, if I'm going to die, I need to just die right next to the uh, the mist. Oh, no. Oh, no. Big, big hit. Nope. <laughs> oh, no. That's a tiny arena. All right. I like the... Uh, Barbed wire, that's it. I was trying to say thorns. No, they aren't thorns. It looks like barbed wire actually stringed together some of his stuff. All right, now that's it. We're, we have to we have to get some assistance here, and I don't think I want the hawk. I think it's time for, for Oleg. And I can't do Oleg if I don't use an arc, and I don't want to use an arc. 93, okay, what is the next best summon? No, see, Latena's too squishy. I can't use her to tank. I could try and point. No, 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 no. Maybe I just do the. No, not the putrid ashes or uh, corpses either. Maybe skeletal militia. Oh, I don't know. I really and truly don't know. Maybe I do the hawk. Okay, never mind. We do the hawk. It's it's cheap. Get in there and summon, and then hope she gets aggro very quickly. Oh, no, no, no. I s switched it. I foolishly switched it. All right, just try a regular cannon. <laughs> I missed with the cannon. Yikes. <laughs> To be fair, that was a terrible attempt on my part. No, I, I, wow. I don't know. I thought this was going to be a walk in the park. I don't know why. I'm definitely in, an, in a higher level zone. You know, this isn't like Castle Morn when I went there at level 55. And all I had was a, uh, a Leonine Misbegotten. Okay. Summon the Hawk. Go do your thing. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. You're going to die so quickly. That was a good hit, but it doesn't matter because now he's all over me, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm in trouble with that rune arc. Uh-oh. These are terrible spells for this fight. Terrible spells. Because he is just so fast. I can't charge him, so my build is kind of, you know, based around that. So let's not do a cannon. Let's do, what, a Night Comet, I guess? It's fast. Okay, once again, summon, summon, summon. All 
right? Oh, what? No, 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 no! Oh, my goodness gracious. Although, the hawk is doing pretty decent damage. You know, I'm, su I'm half surprised that Millicent isn't here to help me. I don't think this is happening without a tank. Hey, at least my at least my runes are outside. That's kind of nice. Okay, ready? Go. See how that does. 316 is not bad for the price. Uh you are after me though. Go pretty go. Okay, switched. Oh, don't have any more magic. Okay, let's break these. Good. Now switch, switch. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Good. Oh, but don't do that. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, no. Roll. Okay, good. Thank you for the buff. Oh, what are you using? Something terrifying. Uh, don't, please don't lead him this way. Hey, okay. this is working somehow. Now we need to run. Oh my gosh, you can clear the entire room. You, I mean, you quite literally can clear the entire room. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Come on now. Move. Okay. I. Oh, no. That made me miss. Okay. Good. Um, hmm, this is not good though. Oh, no, no, no! Uh, oh, no! Okay, heal. Oh, that damage is absurd! Okay, run, 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 run! Oh, stop. No! Blue, heal! And stop crouching! I don't know why I find it very difficult not to hit the crouch button, but... Okay. All right, run. Okay. No, 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 please. There it is, okay. Oh boy, that's a tough fight. That's a tough fight. Mirai execution is short. <laughs> Mirai, Executioner's Sword, and the Briar Great Shield. Oh boy, huh, I was, I was sweating that one. I sure was. Okay, is that a legendary armament? I, I tend to think that it is. And of course, something I will never, ever, ever use. It's a great sword. It is a legendary armament. Storied sword of House Mirai, the family of executioners who presided over the Shaded Castle. Elmer of the Briar, the bell-bearing hunter. Ooh. Okay, he's looking for bell bearings, which is what NPCs have been dropping and merchants have been dropping to extend the twin husks inventory. Snatched the sword from the site of his looming execution and furnished it with battle skills from his home of Aokade. Okay, so Aokade is a place. So the regalia of Aokade is, so it's not a person, it is a place. Treasure sword of Aokade. Oh, okay, and it even says a lesser long vanished domain. The unique skill is AOK's Dancing Blade, which is the same. Which is the same. I don't think I can do what he does, though. Which is... Okay, fine. Uh, anyway, we also got the Briar Great Shield. And has a blood buildup with the Shield Bash. Okay. Land of Proudly Solitary Ascetics. Ascetics? Is it Ascetics? Ascetics? When it's a person? I'm not really sure. Attacks with this armament utilize the iron thorns that have been wound around its frame. Cool. Very cool. Well, how many runes do I need for a level 36? Mm, I definitely don't have enough hard for... Or do I? 
No, because I would need, what, 10,000? No, definitely not. So I have enough for one level. And it's time to pick something else now that we've hit our goal of 70 intelligence. I mean, vigor is always going to be a thing. Mind is always a thing. But I'm also thinking faith and arcane we want to get up. But I think mind. I need to start getting some more FP. That bar is pitifully short, especially if I'm going to be using these charged spells. Right, so what do we want to do now? Now that we've cleared this, I said I was going to go back to Kaelid. And I am planning on it. There's also a mine that... You know what we should do, actually, for the remainder of this episode? Is a little bit of inventory management and upgrading. I think that is the best thing. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how empty it is here. I mean, there's no one left. Uh, except, you know, Sir Gideon. He's kind of a jerk. And a guy who apparently eats poop. Gross. <laughs> Alright. Let's go check in with Hugh. Make sure nothing has changed up here, right? No? Surprisingly, Roger is still dead. Hugh's still doing his thing. Fia, you haven't returned yet magically, have you? No? Okay. Uh, I would like to see about upgrading. Greetings, you here for spirit. I am. Let's see. So I can upgrade Dean. Dean is pretty cool. Dean is actually really cool. I love the buff that we get from Dean. Uh, we could get Lutal up. We also could do Oleg or Engval. I mean, Latena would be really cool, but she's just so squishy because, you know, we're meant to be the tank in her case. I'm tempted. I am tempted to just bring up Dean. It's kind of the best of both worlds. You get the buff. She's also very aggressive. Just kind of squishy. Kind of squishy. Then again, you know, the fanged imps. You can't really go wrong with the fanged imps. Okay. You know what? Let's... Okay. I can only get one level out of them anyway. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, boy. Level 6. Stormhawk Dean. At your service. And what else can we do here with our armaments? Misery cord we can get up. Beautiful. We can also do the horn. Oh, actually, we can do both. Because we can only get this up one more time. But we can do misery cord and we can do the horn bow. And then we have to decide do we want misery cord up or the horn bow. And I'm kind of thinking the horn bow. Although. No, no, that's okay. That's okay. We can do this. Uh, that is only. That's a minuscule increase. So I think we'll actually do the horn bow. That's a slightly better increase. We need to start considering other magical staffs. Because here's the thing. I've been using the meteorite staff for so long. Because I got kind of lucky in the fact that I got it so early. Also, I have stuff to sell. But look at all these other ones that I can use. You know, look at all these. I mean, my gosh, that sorcery scaling jumps up in a single upgrade to 192. My astrologer staff goes up to 185. Now, I know the meteorite staff is so much higher, but with the boost to intelligence the way we have it, I mean, the Azures, look at this. Azures goes, goes up to 261. In fact, I think that makes it more powerful, right? Now, the Azures Glintstone, was that... We have to take a look. What was up with that? Was that higher FP for more damage? Yeah, consumes additional FP, but can't reduce the casting time, so not damage. So this is 247. This is 248. So it's not that far off. The Azures. It's really not. Yeah, I think we need to start because, I mean, I've just been using it for so long. Okay, so let's see. What are the other passive effects? Boost Stone Digger Sorcery. Eh. Not planning on using that. Azure's is just uh, faster for more FP. Lusats. There's something about Lusats. Uh, carrying Glintstone could actually be really cool to have just as... You know, I should do this. I should do this one. And I think I might just to get it up, just to boost those uh, Glintstone swords or the carrion swords. That's really fun. 
And then this I don't understand, boost invisibility sorcery. I don't understand that. In fact, it says supposedly it can only do that. Let's do Azure's. So that gets, I mean, that's that's now 261 scaling, which is great. But I think, I think I want to try, let's see. Getting that up. Now we need more smithing stone level ones. What about Lusats? What was the deal with Lusats again? So we're actually going to be using two different staffs now. Actually, no, I think we're going to be replacing this because I'm not using a whole lot of gravity. So this is now going to be the Azures, right? Now, I don't know how much more FP it, it uses, so that might be a problem. And we're also going to do the Carrying Glintstone. And then, I mean, this... Sacrificial axe, that's gonna be I bet that's somber. Back over there, Matt. I bet that's somber. No, it's actually rather rather uh regular smithing. That's maybe worth considering. I don't know, maybe the FP gained actually increases as you level it up. Uh but what was I gonna look at? The Lusats, right? So Lusats enhances power but consumes additional Ooh. That's tough. That is tough. That is tough. Well, let's let's play around with these. I might have to haul oh, this. The staffs just look so cool, though. That one doesn't. That one looks boring. But that one looks cool. <laughs> uh, I guess I guess we do a quick test before we wrap up. Let's just go to I don't know Church of Ella, just because we know we know it's safe, right? Let's go to the Church of Ella. I know it's wrapping up point, and we will here in just a moment. I just want to see. Okay. So, uh, what is a nice, cheap-ish spell? Night Comet. Night Comet. We are at 96 FP. And that costs... 24. Wow, 24. Okay. So, 24. And that costs... Whoa. Is that 20... Hold on. <laughs> 72... Minus 43 is 29. Okay. Uh, for a shorter time? I mean, what's the difference in time? Let's see. Let's get my FP back. The problem is my FP pool is so low. Although... I mean, we could technically take this off and put on the Radigan icon to see how... Well, let, let's try it. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I don't actually have to go rest. I can just do this. That feels significant, actually. Okay. Now I'm super curious. With Radigan's icon. So this is, again, just the, uh, the what is it called? The Carrion, Carrion Glintstone. It still feels longer than the Azure's. So let's switch and then that didn't feel significant that didn't feel significant hmm I'd rather have the the damage over it all right well we're gonna play around with this we're gonna play around with it and that is what we are going to uh, be focusing on and next time gosh where are we going I mean I said we're gonna go to Kalid but where is this our destination? It feels like it is. So does that mean we just take the Astra? Maybe maybe we go do the Kaled Waypoint Ruins if we haven't already. Um, jail Cave, not the Gale Cave. We did the Jail Cave here because that's what ended up on the coast of Mistwood to get the the uh, Regalia of Aokade. Finger Rita Crow. Oh, she's still there. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So maybe we start here, we check out these ruins, see if we have cleared it, and then we start taking this road and we make our way to whatever nightmare that is. And it can only be a nightmare. Oh boy. But that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.